Hi, welcome to this Corporate Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at the video solutions to the area for parallelogram practice questions. So if you need any extra help on area for parallelogram, if you go to corpmavs.com forward slash contents and scroll down to video 44, that's the video tutorial on finding the area for parallelogram. Alternatively, you could scan this QR code. But let's get started. Okay, let's have a look at question number one. So question number one, we've been given a parallelogram on a centimeter square grid. So this is a grid where each one of the squares measures one centimeter by one centimeter. And we're to asked to work out the area of the parallelogram and to state the units of our answer. So there's a few different ways we can do this. One way is to count the number of whole squares, so one, two, three, and so on, and then put part squares together to make whole squares and so on. So that's one way you could do it. Another way you could do it is to chop off this part, this triangle, and put it on this part, and then you've got a rectangle, and then you can work out the area. Alternatively, you can use the formula. So the area of a parallelogram, the area is equal to the base multiplied by the height or the perpendicular height of the parallelogram. So if we look at this parallelogram, the base is one, two, three, four centimeters long, so four centimeters. The height of the parallelogram, well, it's got a height of, if we go up from the base to the top, it would have a height of, if we go upwards, one, two, three, four, five centimeters. So it's got a height of five centimeters. So if we just do base, which is four, multiplied by the height, which is five, that will give us the area. And four times five is 20 centimeters squared. And that's the area of the parallelogram. Alternatively, you could have chopped this part off. So if I just get rid of this. Alternatively, you could have just chopped this part off here and put it on the end here. And then you would have had this rectangle and it's four by five, so four times five is 20. But I, I like using the formula for their parallelogram because I think it's quite straightforward, base times the height. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So question number two says, shown below is a parallelogram. So we've got this parallelogram, it's got a length of eight centimeters, so the length of the base is eight centimeters, and it's got a height, the distance between the base and the top of it of three centimeters. And we've been asked to work out the area of the parallelogram, so we're gonna do the base, so area equals base times height. The base is eight centimeters, eight multiplied by the height, which is three, and eight times three is 24. And we've got to make sure we put our units on, and because we're dealing with area of the shape and we're dealing with centimeters, it's gonna be centimeters squared. Okay, our next question, question number three. So question number three, we've been given a parallelogram, and this parallelogram, we have got the base here of 12 centimeters, we've got the height of four centimeters, and we've got the length of the diagonal here, the length of the side as five centimeters. Now we've been asked to calculate the area of the parallelogram. So we need the base and the height, so we're just gonna do the base times the height. We don't need to worry about this five centimeters. This five centimeters would be useful over finding the perimeter of the parallelogram, but for the area of the parallelogram, we're gonna do the base times the height the perpendicular height, the distance between the base and the top of it. So the base is 12, multiplied by the height, which is four, and 12 times four is equal to 48. And make sure we put our units on centimeters squared. And that's it. So the area of this parallelogram would be 48 centimeters squared. We can just ignore this length. Okay, our next question, question number four. And question number four is a calculator question. And uh, we've been asked to find the area of this parallelogram. Well, we've got its base, we've got its height, so we just need to do the area is equal to the base times the height. The base is equal to 5.4. The height is equal to 6.1. And if we multiply these on our calculator, 5.4 multiplied by 6.1, that gives us an area of 32.94 centimeters squared and that's it and just make sure you put your units on if you need to actually they're in the answer box here so we just write 32.94 and that's it okay our next question okay let's have a look at question number five so question number five says this diagram shows a parallelogram so here we've got a parallelogram the parallelogram has got a length of 11.2 centimeters a height of 5.2 centimeters and the length of the side is 5.9 centimeters now we're not going to need to use this because we just need to do the base times the height the base would be 11.2 the same as the top times the height which is 5.2 so we're going to do area equals base times height the base is 11.2, the height is 5.2, and if we multiply those together using our calculator, that will give us our answer. So 11.2 multiplied by 5.2 equals 58.24 centimeters squared. So that's the area of the parallelogram, 58.24. Okay, question number six. Question number six says this diagram shows a parallelogram. So we've got this parallelogram. The length of the base is y and the height of the parallelogram is six centimeters. And we're told the area of the parallelogram is 54 centimeters squared. Find the length of the base y. So to find the area, we multiply the base by the height. So whenever we do this number, y times six, we get 54. So if we do 54 divided by six, that would tell us the length of the base. So 54 divided by six is nine. So that means that the base would be, y would be nine centimeters. So the length of the base is 
9 centimeters. So if you're given the area for the parallelogram and you know the height, if you divide the area by the height, you will find the length for the base. And likewise, if you were given the area and you knew the base, if you divide the area by the base, you'll find the height of the parallelogram. Okay, question number seven. Okay, question number seven. So question number seven says, shown below are the points A, B, C on a centimeter square grid. So we've got this grid, it's a set of axes, and each one of the squares measures one centimeter by one centimeter. And we've got A, B, and C. And we're told the point D is plotted so that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram and define the area of the parallelogram. So we've got A, B, C, now we need to find where D is. So remember for parallelogram that the opposite sides are parallel, but they're also the same length. So if we look at the top, the length of the top is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that means the base will have a length of 7 as well. So if we go this way 7, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That means the point D will be here. So this would be our parallelogram, it would look something like this. So we've got a parallelogram and we've been asked to find its area. So let's find the length of the base. So in the question, we're told that it is a centimetre square grid. So that means that each one of the squares measures one centimetre by one centimetre. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven centimetres across. And in terms of the height of the parallelogram from the base to the top, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be five centimetres. So if we do seven, multiply by five, that will give us the area of this parallelogram. So the base area is equal to the base, which is seven, multiplied by the height, which is five. And seven times five is 35 centimetres squared. And that's it. So there, the parallelogram is 35 centimetres squared. Okay, our next question, question number eight. And question number eight says, the diagram shows a parallelogram with a perimeter of 30 centimetres. So the perimeter of this parallelogram is 30 centimetres. So the distance around the outside is 30 centimetres. Now, if the left-hand side has got a length of six centimetres, that means that the right-hand side would have a length of six centimetres. Now, that's actually enough information now to find what the length of the top and the base would be. Because we know that the distance around the outside must be 30 centimetres. So if we add six and six together, six plus six, that's equal to 12. So that means that the other two sides, whenever we add them together, must be 18 because 30 take away 12 is equal to 18 so that means that when we add the two other sides together we get 18 they're the same length as each other so if we do 18 divided by 2 that's equal to 9 so that means that the top must be 9 centimeters and the base must be 9 centimeters so we've now got our parallelogram and we've been asked to calculate its area well we know the base and we know the height so the area is equal to the base times the height the base is equal to 9 the height's equal to 5, the height of it. So we're going to do 9 times 5 is equal to 45 centimetres squared. And that's it. So the area for this parallelogram would be 45 centimetres squared. Question number 9. Question number 9 says, shown below is a parallelogram and a square. So we've got this parallelogram and we've got this square. And we're told the area of the square and the area of the parallelogram are equal. And to find the perpendicular height of the parallelogram. So let's find the area of the square to begin with, because we know the square is 18 centimetres wide, 18 centimetres tall, and so on. It's 18 by 18. So if we want to find its area, we're going to multiply the length by the width, so we're going to do 18 times 18. So we're going to do 18 multiplied by 18. And it's a calculator question, so that's quite nice. And the answer would be equal to 324 centimetres squared. So the area of this square is 324 centimetres squared. But we're told in the question the area of the square and parallelogram are equal. So that means the area of this parallelogram will also be 324 centimetres squared. So now we know the area of the parallelogram, we can work out the height of the parallelogram. Because we know that the base, which is 25 centimetres, the same as the height, 25 multiplied by the height would give us 324. So if we do 324 divided by the length of the base, 25, we can find the height of the parallelogram. So 324 divided by 25 is equal to... 12.96 centimetres, and that's it. So the height of this parallelogram would be 12.96 centimetres. Okay, question number 10. So question number 10 says, Dylan creates a logo by joining two congruent parallelograms. So congruent in maths means identical, it means the same shape and size. And as you can see, there's two parallelograms that have been joined together. If we actually divide them, you can see here, if we divide the shape, into two, you can see there's a parallelogram on the top and a parallelogram below. And we've been asked to find the area of the logo. So if we find the area of one parallelogram, we can then double it to get the area of the whole logo. So let's consider the area of one of the parallelograms. So let's consider one of them. Let's consider this parallelogram on the bottom here, this parallelogram here. It's got a length for a base of 56 centimeters. Now, if we know the height of this parallelogram, we can find its area by doing 56 multiplied by the height. 
Now the height of the parallelogram, well the height of both of them is 50 centimeters. So if we do 50 divided by two, that's equal to 25 centimeters. So that means that this parallelogram here has got a height of 25 centimeters. And it also means that this parallelogram here has got a height of 25 centimeters. So now we know the base of the parallelogram and the height of the parallelogram. If we times them together, we can find the area of the parallelogram. So let's do area equals base, which is 56, multiplied by the height, which is 25. It's a calculator question, so that's quite nice. So 56 multiplied by 25 is equal to 1,400 centimeters squared. Now that was the area of just one of the parallelograms, this area of this one at the bottom. Now we want to find the area of the whole logo. Well, there's two parallelograms, so we just need to double this area. So 1,400 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2,800. So the area of the logo is 2,800 centimetres squared. And that's it. OK, our next question, question number 11. So question number 11 says, the diagram shows a logo that is made up of five identical parallelograms. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 parallelograms. And we've been asked to find the area of one of the parallelograms. So to find the area of one of the parallelograms, such as this one here, what we need to do is we need to do the base multiplied by the height. Now if we turn our head sideways here, uh, we can see the base is going to be 10 centimetres, and the height would be this distance here. So we can just find the height of this parallelogram, this distance. We can then do 10 multiplied by that to find the area of one of these parallelograms. Now the whole length of the whole shape is 25 centimeters and the parallelograms are identical. That means the height or the width of each of them, the width of each of these parallelograms would have to be the same. So if we do 25 divided by five, that would be equal to five centimeters. So that means that each of these parallelograms has got a width of five centimeters. So that's gonna be five centimeters across, that's gonna be five centimeters across and so on. And it means that our parallelogram we were looking at here has got a width of five centimeters also. And if we turn our head sideways, the base would be 10, the height would be five, and then we just times them together to get the area. So the area is equal to the base 10 times the height five, and that's equal to 50 centimeters squared. So the area of one of the parallelograms is 50 centimeters squared, and that's it. Okay, question number 12. Question number 12 says, a shape is made from four congruent parallelograms. So if congruent means identical, so it means we've got the same shape and size and area. And we've got this diagram and we're told that the height of this shape is 14 centimeters. We're told that the whole length of it is y and that this distance is six. So if we have a look at it, we've been asked to find this distance here, but we've been told that the area of the shape is 308 centimeters squared. So the shape consists of four identical parallelograms. So if we divide the total area by four, we can find the area of each one of these parallelograms. So we're gonna do 308 divided by four. And when we do 308 divided by four, we get that's equal to 77 centimeters squared. So the area of each one of these parallelograms is 77 centimeters squared. Now we want to find this length y. Now if we know that this distance is 6, that means the distance to the top here is also equal to 6 centimeters. So if we can find out what the length of one of the parallelograms is, we can do the length of one of them plus 6 plus the length of another one. So we really need to find this length, this length of this parallelogram, the length of the base or the length of the height, and that would then mean that we can find the total distance y. Now we know the area of each one of them is 77 centimeters squared. Now let's consider the height of them. The height of the whole shape is 14 centimetres. So that means the height of each one of them is half of that, which is 7 centimetres. So the height of each one of them is 7 centimetres. So remember to get the area of a parallelogram, we do the base times the height, and that gives us the area. So that means that this 7 multiplied by how long it is gives us 77. So if we do 77, divided by seven, the height of it, that will give us the length of each one of the parallelograms because if we have a look at one of them, we know its area is 77 centimeters squared. We know that its height, the top to bottom, is equal to seven centimeters. And that means that seven times something will give us 77. So 77 divided by seven is equal to 11. So it means that each parallelogram is 11 long or wide, or the base of it's 11, and the height of each one of them is seven centimeters. Now we want to find this length y. So that's going to be 11 centimeters, that distance, plus six plus 11. And if we do 11 plus six plus 11, we will get the length of the whole shape. So 11 plus six plus 11. 11 plus six is 17 plus 11 will be 28. So that means that this whole shape has got a length of 28 centimeters. And that's it. 
Okay, let's have a look at question number 13. So question number 13 says, below is a parallelogram with a length of x plus 3 centimetres and a perpendicular height of 4 centimetres. And we're told the area of the parallelogram is 30 centimetres squared and we've been asked to find x. Now there's two different ways you can do this question, and or two different ways I can think of to do this question, and I'm going to do both approaches now. So the first approach is to work using the algebra. To find the area of the parallelogram, we do the base times the height. So the base is the same as the length here, so that's going to be the base is x plus 3, and the height is 4. So if we times those together, we will get the area. So 4 multiplied by x plus 3. Now whenever we are multiplying x plus 3 by 4, we just put the x plus 3 in a bracket, and we put a 4 in front. And that will be equal to 30 centimeters squared. Or 30. And if we solve this equation, we can find x. So expand on our bracket. So 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times 3 is 12. So 4x plus 12 is equal to 30. Now we just want to solve this equation, so we want to get the x on its own. So we don't want this multiplied by 4, and we don't want this plus 12. So get, let's get rid of the plus 12 by taking away 12 and taking away 12. So 4x plus 12, take away 12, will just leave us with 4x. And on the right hand side, we had 30, take away 12 is equal to 18. Now we've got 4 times x, we don't want this multiplied by 4, so let's divide by 4 and divide by 4. 4x four divided by 4 is equal to x, and 18 divided by 4, well that's equal to half of 18 is 9, half of it again is 4.5. So that means that x is equal to 4.5 centimetres, and that's it, so the answer would be 4.5. So that's one approach. Another way to consider it is, well we know the area of the parallelogram, so if we know the area is equal to 30, and we know the height of it is equal to 4, if we do 30 divided by 4, we will get the length of it. So 30 divided by 4, well half of 30 is 15, half of it again is 7.5. So that means that the parallelogram has a base or a length of 7.5 centimetres. Well the length of it is x plus 3, so it's a certain number, the number we're looking at, plus 3. Well, whenever you add 3 to a number to get 7.5, if you want to find out what that number was, you just need to do 7.5 take away 3. And that is equal to 4.5. So that means that x is equal to 4.5 centimetres. And that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the error for parallelogram practice questions. I really hope you found this video useful. If you do need any extra help on error for parallelogram, if you go to courtmathcom forward slash contents and scroll down to video 44, there's a video tutorial there on finding the error for parallelogram. Alternatively, you can scan that QR code. So I really hope you found this video useful. If you have, please like it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And thanks so much. Cheers. Bye.